Welcome to Profit Guru. I'm Cassandra Barney, and this is your place for all things Amazon selling related, plus other strategies on how to make money online. So if those videos are up your alley, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now so you never miss one of our videos. Right now, I want to show you guys a really powerful way that I source products online, and that's using tactical arbitrage. Now, tactical arbitrage does have a little learning curve with it, but once you get the ropes down, it is super easy to use, and it's going to save you a ton of time from trying to manually source products online. So let me show you exactly how I use tactical arbitrage and what filters I set. So when you first come to tactical arbitrage and go to the product search, right here, you'll be able to see all of the different online places that you'll be able to source from. And there are quite a few here. So what a lot of people do is they will choose where they want to source from, for example, CVS Pharmacy. They'll go ahead and click on it. And then they're just going to run a basic search for it. Now, this is what everybody is doing. So when people say, oh, I've tried tactical arbitrage and I'm really not getting good results back. Well, that's why, because they're just running a basic search that everyone else in the world using tactical arbitrage, the very basic way, they're running the same exact searches. What you really want to do is start to run some advanced searches. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to switch this over to advanced. Now, the first thing that I like to do is head to Rakuten because that's going to show me which sites are offering the most cash back right now. And that's going to help to save me money and increase my profits. So I can see that Clinique here is doing a really good 8% cash back. They're also doing a site-wide like 30% right now, but the problem is tactical arbitrage does not source Clinique. So I can't use that one. Uh, Wet and Wild is 4%, but the same thing. Tactical arbitrage does not source Wet and Wild. Uh, Walgreens is 3% and it does source that store. So we'll keep that in mind that it's 3% cash back. And now we're going to go to Walgreens to see if there's even more offers going on right now. So it looks like they're doing a buy to get the third free for cosmetics. So I could plug that in or uh, there's also extra 20% off $40 plus with health. So that would only apply to health items. So any of these would fall into that 20% off. So let's say I wanted to really dig into the vitamins. It looks like a lot of these are also buy one, get one free. Uh, but they're not all buy one, get one free. So I wouldn't want to plug that code into TA uh, because it's going to give me false data. But these all are 20% off. So I'm going to come down here and I want to see how many items there are. So I want to scroll down and see how many total items there are for TA to source. So there's going to be 20 pages. All right. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to grab the URL, copy it. Come on over to tactical arbitrage and in the category, that's where we're going to paste it. There were 20 pages. So I'm going to start at one and I'm going to go to page 20. Up here for the website, we're going to change this to Walgreens. And now down here is where you're really going to set those filters that are going to stand those items apart and show you where you're really going to get the most bang for your buck. So the store discount is 20% off. The cash back was 3%. Then if you have any anything else you can apply here, you could put in your sales tax if you wanted to. So down here, you can remove some things as well. Um, I want to remove all the listings that are above 150,000 in rank because the higher the rank, the slower these are selling and they're not going to be products that are just flying off the shelves. I also remove items that don't have at least three sellers on them. And that's because items that only have one or two sellers, those are typically like private label items or items where the brand's going to issue an IP alert. And I don't want to be on those listings. It's risky. Also, what I'm going to do is take some more things off. For me personally, I don't like oversized products. The smaller, the better. It's easier to package. It's lighter to ship. It costs less. Um, uh, let's see here. If Amazon is a seller, I also remove that. I don't like to compete with Amazon. They are not fun to compete with and they don't like to share the buy box. Hazmat items, you actually need an additional course to be able to sell hazmat on Amazon. So I'm going to take the hazmat off. I also remove items where the buy box is suppressed. So what that means is if you go onto Amazon and you try to add something to your cart and there's no add to cart button, that means the buy box is suppressed. For some reason, Amazon has removed it. So then the buyer has to dig a little deeper and go into the sellers and find which seller they want. A lot of sellers are not going to like that. So I don't like to jump onto listings if the buy box is not visible. 
since Tactical Arbitrage is linked to my Amazon seller account, it's going to know what I'm restricted in and I cannot sell. So I'm just going to have it remove the items that it knows I'm not ungated in and I can't sell. That's going to save me time from trying to source through things that I wouldn't be able to list to begin with. And now over here, remove products with a source price of less than, remove products with an Amazon price of less than. So this will help to make sure that you're going to get good profits back. Um, typically, you're not going to want to sell things that are like less than $10 because then it's really eating into your profit margins. Uh, really, as an arbitrage seller, you're only looking to get back maybe a third in profit for what the item is selling for on Amazon. So if something is only selling for like $5, you'd be lucky to even make a dollar back on that. So typically, I like to stay with items that are selling for at least $10 or above. I can come down here and I can put in the ROI that I want to see. So if I only want to see items that are going to bring me back at least $4, that's going to save me time from having to sift through data where the products are only bringing me back like $1 or $2. I can also set here the ROI that I want to see. Um, so maybe I'll set that to something like 25 to 30%. I'd love to see it the higher, the better, but I also don't want to waste time on products that are only going to yield me like a 20% ROI. So now all you need to do is hit the search button. It's going to source the store for you and apply all of these discounts that you've thrown in. So the search is in progress. It's going from pages 1 to 20. It's on the second product, fourth product, and it's going to scan over 1,000 products. So you can see how many it's checked and how many it's actually added for you to look at. So yes, this does take some time, but if you decide to turn your computer off or to go do something else, it's still going to keep sourcing through the items regardless. So let me take you to some products that I've already run the search for so that we can look through them together. Now, if tactical arbitrage is something that you're interested in trying, but you're not really sure if you're going to like it, I will actually link below in the description um, an extended free trial for you. So you can try this for 10 days. I uh, use code HUSTLER10. So now what I'm doing while I'm scrolling is the first thing I'm looking at is to make sure that the image is a match. So this is the product image from where you're sourcing it from. And this is the Amazon image here. So you're going to want to make sure that it's the exact thing. The next thing I'm looking at is how many sales it's getting each month, the profit, and what the ROI is. Now right here, that is a red flag. The ROI for this item is 4,000. So I know that there's something wrong with that. There's no way that that's an accurate match. And this happens a lot on tactical arbitrage. It's an amazing piece of software for doing arbitrage, but it's not always 100% accurate. So it's going to take you knowing what you're looking for and doing the deep dives to make sure it's an actual match. So let's see here. I can see the item looks the same, Nature Shampoo Cap. Let's click into it and see what we can see. Um, before I do that, I also come over here to the chart just to make sure that there's no orange. So if there would be orange, that would be Amazon on the listing. And even though I clicked that I wanted listings only to pop up that doesn't have Amazon, sometimes they still pop up that Amazon are on. So I always want to check and make sure that there is no orange. Orange on these charts is not a good thing. I can see that uh, clearly that does not look like a match. That is the product image from Big Lots, and that's the listing it matched it with on Amazon. So that would be no good. The next one, yeah, no good, not a match. Uh, hairspray. So hairspray is typically hazmat, but I'm not seeing the hazmat warning on this one. 5.5. says quantity of two. Let's look. So yeah, this is why I love using this online uh, AMZ multi-tool. This is also free. And right here it popped up and it told me, yes, this is hazmat. So if you didn't go the additional steps with Amazon and get on the hazmat training, which right now there's a wait list for anyways. So I'm not going to be able to sell this. Coffee sometimes can be a good hit if you find the right brand. Let's check this out. McCafe. So this is for 24 and the image says for 48, but I can see here that there are different variations. So let's look into it. So on this listing, you can see that there are a ton of variations. There's all of these different flavors. There's all of these different size counts. So how do you know which ones are selling the best? 
Well, what you need to do is go down into this free Keepa extension, and you're going to want to go to the Variations tab. I use this a ton. So now I can see all of the variations here. What I'm going to be looking at is the ratings. The one that has the highest ratings is going to have a trophy beside it, and that's going to be the listing that is performing the best. So right there, I see it. This listing has 30,000 ratings. So that would be the 84 count of the brown. So if I was able to find that, um, I could even go into Google now and run a Google search. I know that this is selling well, and I could try to source this for the lowest price possible. So for 84 of these, it's going for a pretty good price. So if I could find that for a decent price, um, preferably below like 20 bucks, I know that I'd be bringing back a profit on it. And with this many ratings, I know that it's something that's going to be selling pretty fast. What I also like about tactical arbitrage is I can now come over here grab the ASIN right here for this specific variation. Come over here into tactical arbitrage and go to the tactical edge. Now I'm going to paste that ASIN in here. And that's not good. See all that orange? <laughs> That's Amazon. So Amazon knows that this is a product that's doing really well on Amazon. And of course, Amazon themselves is on this listing. And it looks like they don't really get off of it, at least not in the past 90 days. So I could look a little deeper into trends. I could pull this up to the 365 view. And look at that. That's the only time in a year that Amazon has jumped off of this listing. So I wouldn't jump onto this. Um, but I'll just show you a little further how powerful the edge is. So I can see right here the buy box. This is this top line, the blue one. Let me get rid of the other things for a second. So this blue line is showing you how the buy box is changing. So you always want to check a product to make sure that the buy box is pretty consistent. Because if you're looking at something and it's selling for $48, but historically it's only selling down here for $35 and it's just spiked right now, you can't really count on that as being the selling price. So you can see that it is spiking a little bit. Um, for all of this duration of time, it was only selling for 35, uh, 35, see how it's changing a little bit. But now, boom, right here, it has jumped all the way up to $48. But I can come down and I can see the average price that it's been the past 30 days, the past 90 days, uh, the sales rank, that's a really good sales rank. I can come down here, I can see that it's selling about 44 estimated monthly sales. And then come down a little further and you can see all of the sellers that are on this listing. So all of these brave souls have decided to jump onto this listing and sell this product, even though they know that boom, right here, that's Amazon. So in stock, Amazon has over 30 plus units right now. And it looks like they replenish it all of the time. Um, they very rarely ever go out of stock for this listing. But this is something great to do. If you find something that you find that's selling well, um, always come in here to the tactical edge and look at the data for this arbitrage to see if it's actually a good decision. Because that copy, it looked good. I could see there was a ton of ratings until I saw this. That's all Amazon. So I love how I can do this and see like what my competition is, uh, what they are selling it for shows me what they have in stock, and then after their fees, what they're making back on the items. Super powerful to use. All right, back to the scrolling. Probably don't want to sell any knives. Not really about that. So we have some Reese's here, and tactical arbitrage matched it up with whatever that is, but clearly that is not a match. So this can be a super powerful tool, but as you can see, nothing's perfect. Uh, so there is a lot of work on your end that you still have to do. So we have some cheese balls there, but that's all Amazon. So they did come off for a little bit, but it looks like in the past 90 days, they were on it for the majority of time. So I would just keep scrolling past that, um, even though it does appear to be, you know, it's light. I love light things. That would be super easy to ship. I still don't want to compete with Amazon. There's plenty of other fish in the sea. Some gummy bears here. Uh, looks like Amazon came on for a little bit, but for the majority, they're off in the past 90 days. Let's take a little peek at it. All right, so we have here Party City. 
$1.50 for sherbet, and it is 3.5 ounces. So now I'm going to head over to the listing to make sure that that matches up. Um, nope, right off the bat, I can see that this is nine ounces, not three and a half, so that doesn't match up. So, no good. So you can see how, like, this can be a little bit defeating. Um, this definitely isn't something where you're going to just come onto it and be like, bam, 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 listing after listing, all of this money. It's going to take some work from you. Yes, TA is speeding it up for you, but it still is a very slow and tedious process at this point to make sure that the, the listings are actual matches. So curtains here. Uh, me personally, I don't really... I like to get into stuff like that. I like stuff that's easy. Easy for me means that it's light, so it's not going to cost a ton of shipping. It's going to be easy for me to prep, something where I can just buy it online, take it out of the box, slap my FN SKU on it, and put it back in the box. That's what I like. So this looks like multi-pack, but TA is getting it as a quantity of one. Uh, so it looks like they've come off for a bit here. Let's look into it. So we have $4.99 for eight and a half ounce. Eight and a half ounce looks to be the same. Okay, so this so far looks so good. So now is where you're really gonna do like the fine tooth looking it over. I'm going to go back to the listing. So grass-fed ghee oil, fourth and heart, original. Grass-fed ghee oil. So it looks like it's the same. So now uh, I'm just going to run it through the profit calculator really quick. So $4.99. Selling for seventeen oh seven, which is what the buy box is at right now. I do a little digging deeper if it passes this test to see exactly what the other sellers are listing it for. But let's just see quickly what kind of profit it'll bring. So if you're someone who's familiar with watching Profit Guru, you know I talk about the three times rule. So this applies to it. If I'm buying it for five, I want it to sell for at least 15. So I can see the three times price right here. It's Bring me back a good profit, nice ROI. Now what I want to do is just make sure that this is a good choice. So it is 8.5 ounces. It does have a few variations here. So let me check and see if 8.5 is the one that is selling. So right here, the winner. So it's actually the five ounce that's selling the best. So the 8.5 here, it still has 271 ratings. That's still really good. So I'm going to come over, grab that ASIN so I can put it in for the tactical edge. Before I do that, I'd just like to go down a little further and check the description to make sure that it, the dimensions are matching up. So if it's an 8.5 bottle, it should be around 8.5, 8.48. So that seems to be okay. And then I like to go down a little further to see what the customers are saying. So if I see like a lot of negative stuff going on, I'm probably not going to jump on that listing. I don't want to make any buyers upset and have them leave me negative feedback. So I can see five stars, three stars is okay, but I should have read the ingredients. Okay, so they're upset with the ingredients. Faulty sprayer, detective product. Oh, those are a couple things to look out for. Um... But overall, it seems to be okay. So let's run this ASIN over to the edge and see what's really going on with the listing. Holy smoke. So this variation, the 8.5, uh, 365 days, Amazon was on from April all the way until February. So let me set this to 30 days. So they have been off the last 30 days. So then it's kind of like, hmm, out of a year, they were on for a long time, but they came off. Does that mean that they're gonna stay off for a bit? 
Or by the time I order these products and send them in, is Amazon going to jump back on? So that is the risk that you take with a listing like this, where Amazon is on it a lot, but for the past month, they haven't been on it at all. So you can see here that the buy box is also pretty funky. Now, Amazon, the blue right here is the buy box. So Amazon's controlling it and it's staying at $12.99 for this duration of time. As soon as Amazon goes out of stock, See how high that buy box jumped up? So it went up to $28. Looks like it got some sales here, and then it jumped back down. It went down to 17 back to 12 up to 13 17 So it's not staying very consistent. Even in the past month alone, it went from $12 up to $17, so it's really fluctuating. This listing alone, though, does sell 30 units a month, approximately. And now I can see the competition. So this doesn't have a ton of FBA sellers. Um, I like to look at the FBA sellers because I'm also FBA. And uh, that would be like my biggest competition because the buy box favors FBA more than Merchant Fulfilled. So I like to see what they're selling for. So they have it for $17. They only have one in stock, 15 in stock. So by the time I got my products and sent it in, uh, this person would probably still be on. So that would be my competition. So I would set my price for $17.10 as well. So that's how that would work. So $17.10 would be my overall, what I would set it for. So I would put in my buy price there, $17.10. So if I also wanted to incorporate what the shipping would be, I could put that in there. Uh, it's probably going to be, I like to figure like 20 cents. I'll just put in... Um, 520. For taking shipping into account, I should still be making $4 profit on this item. So that's not bad. That seems like a pretty good, pretty good find. So hopefully this was a good tutorial for you to show you how you can use tactical arbitrage to speed up your online sourcing. Again, if you want to try this software out for yourself, there is a 10 day extended free trial just for you down in the description below. Um, I think you're going to really like the software. I know personally, I don't source without it anymore when I'm sourcing arbitrage because it is just that powerful and it saves me so much time. Thank you for being here with me on Profit Guru and I will see you on the next video.